A little bit of an unusual video today, but Samsung sent me this solid state drive to play around with and as this is new to me, and probably also something new to most of you, I figured I'll make a video with all my thoughts about solid state drives and if you should get one or not. A quick explanation for those who never heard of an SSD, which basically means solid state drive. It serves the same purpose as your hard drive you currently have, it only does everything a lot faster and to do this it uses a different kind of technology. To give you a quick comparison in performance between both, the usual hard drive will get you around 60 megabytes per second in uh, read and write speeds, while a decent solid state drive will get around 500 to 600 megabytes per second. I don't really want to go in depth on how it all exactly does this, you can always do a quick Google search if you want to learn more about them. First up, I want to apologize because I unfortunately somehow lost the unboxing footage. It's no big deal though, as the box is just a drive and a DVD with all the preloaded software. You'll need to transfer everything to your new solid state drive. What I did find interesting though when unboxing the SSD is the weight of the thing. I'm used to holding these heavy 600 grams hard drives and when I picked up the box of the SSD for the first time I immediately thought they forgot to include the SSD because it felt like an empty box. It turns out these are extremely light weighing only about 80 grams so you save over 500 grams by just using a different kind of hard drive. Knowing that the average laptop is about 2.5 to 3 kilograms that makes a huge difference in the overall weight of the thing. Looking at the picture I took, you can see I got the EVO 840 that has a capacity of 250 gigabytes. Um, these are the more expensive ones from Samsung, so they have some additional features because yeah, you pay more money. You can get one of these for around 200 bucks and so it's not that expensive. Installing the thing is as easy as installing a regular hard drive, mainly removing screws and afterwards closing everything up again. Installing this in a laptop is actually a lot harder than installing this in a computer. Because I regularly uh, record videos and 250 gigabytes is just not enough for me, I decided to only put my programs and windows on the SSD. All my documents and other big files are still on the slower hard drive. This does cause the SSD to be throttled a bit, because for some things there still needs to be read from the hard drive. So um, one thing I really felt is uh, making a difference is in booting up the PC. Using solely the SSD, this was about 20 seconds faster than the current combination I'm using. So talking about boot times, let's have a look at the speed comparison between an SSD and a hard drive. The SSD is an exact copy of the hard drive, so they both have to load the exact same programs and OS. You can clearly see though that the SSD is much much faster than the hard drive, just from how much faster it presents you with the desktop. The first win is for the SSD, just like all the other ones are going to be. Um, next up I have prepared some program load times, uh, so how long it takes to open Chrome or Word or any other program. I've prepared about 5 programs that I regularly use, uh, there will most likely be one of these that you use yourself, so you can make a little bit of a comparison between this and your own experience. I have to do a little bit more explaining though before we start, but just because it takes a very long time on the hard drive, I'm just going to kick off the comparison of Android Studio, a pretty heavy program in terms of loading. So now for the needed explanation. Uh, this example that is running at the moment is being loaded for the very first time after a reboot. This means nothing is preloaded in RAM, so it has to read everything fresh from the hard drive. To simplify this rather complex event, let's just say this only happens after you boot up your PC or laptop. And as most people only reboot their devices once every month, this does not happen very often. Sadly, this is only uh, sadly, this is the only time you really notice the power of the SSD. It really impressed me how much less of a difference it made once I closed the program and opened it up again for the second time. The difference between SSD and hard drive is only a mere 25% and sometimes even non-existent when loading programs for the second time. In the next examples, I'm loading all programs for the second time, so most of the time um, so most of them are already preloaded in RAM by Windows and therefore will not require that many read instructions from the hard drive. So while you can see these comparisons running, you'll probably find an SSD a lot less attractive. 
But the best thing about an SSD is very hard to show in a video. An SSD makes working with your device just much smoother in general. Because every time you're loading something from disk, it would usually lag your program a bit because of the slow read times. And so working with big files feels like opening an empty file now. People working with programs like Photoshop or video editing software probably know what I'm talking about. These are the moments of lag caused by your slow hard drive that almost make it feel like com your computer just locks up for 10 seconds while it's just struggling to keep up with the big files you're asking it to load. So to wrap it all up, my personal thought of getting an SSD or not is not just yes or no. It depends on the kind of user you, you are and so if you are working with a lot of big files or even just working with a lot of files at the same time, my answer is a big yes for those people. But for anyone who is just casual is just a casual user who browses the internet and plays a video game here and there, I'd have to say no. There are better and more useful things you can buy for 200 bucks. But um, that wraps up my um, honest review of a solid state drive. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.